Uh, take a six for three six. 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 <laughs> so I love how <laughs> when you look at the Wikipedia for Tiger King, the photo <laughs> for the main guy, Joe Exotic, is his prison one. That's, <laughs> that's just not cool. If you watched my 10 best snow on the trucks video, you'll know, spoiler alert, that the Tiger ranks higher than a Liger standing on its hind legs. So I thought I'd make a video all about the Tiger King, because this kitty got claws, and that makes it one of the best trucks. <laughs> I'm not sure what that accent was. What makes the Tega 6436 so special? Well, its ability to fight Snowrunner's harshest terrain and emerge king of the jungle is because it has permanent all-wheel drive and diff lock. It's also short in the nose, allowing it to prance up and down steep slopes. Basically, if I had to start Snowrunner again, I'd catch a flight to Russia, except I can't because Corona, then head to the Zimnegorst, Zimnegorst no, no, area of Tame... Yeah, that place. You only need to repair it, and it's yours. But what else makes it as appealing as anything from the Greater Windward Exotic Animal Park gift shop? I'll say this, whereas the Azov 64131 is slower than the police team investigating the disappearance of Carol Baskin's former husband, the Tager is nippy. Not quite had too much catnip ANK MK38 fast, but it covers ground quicker than a scared gazelle. Ladies and gentlemen, before you hear it on the news, I'm going to tell you myself. About an hour ago, we had an incident where one of the employees stuck their arm through the cage and a tiger tore her arm. Not only that, Reach Rank 13, and it can have 51 inch THMS1 mud pillow, sorry, tires that are bigger than Joe Exotic's ego. Slap these rubber paws on and it will go through mud, snow and water like nothing else. I mean, nothing else. And given how prominent mud is in SnowRunner, which is weird given the name, you rarely need anything else. But Ben, it's rubbish on tarmac though, right? Uh, no actually. Even the stock 5-speed automatic gives you a high cruising speed and those mud tires barely get in the way. Find some loose surfaces and it can actually drift like it's fast and furious. Only without the shameless Corona beer advertising. You can have any brew you want, as long as it's a Corona. In terms of upgrades, the Tega is respectable, although not the best. You can use the van add-on for truck repair duties, but not the actual maintenance add-on, which is weaker on repair amount, but includes fuel. There's also a high and low saddle, flatbed, sideboard bed for stopping things falling out, fuel carrier for carrying uh, fuel, plus the seismic vibrator, lol, which is essential for some missions, including one of a few that gets you a garage in Zimnogorsk. Gorsk. Okay, I give up now. Why are people beeping? I don't know I'm making a film about 3D trucks. <laughs> Seriously, shut up. You are, however, unable to use a crane and have a sideboard bed or flatbed at the same time, unlike a number of other trucks. This can be annoying if you want maximum versatility, but then you can tow a trailer instead and just have a bit less cargo potential. Even with a trailer at the back, there is nothing the Russian Tega cannot conquer. Snow, mud, water, tree roots, rocks, big trailers, small trailers, small trailers on big trailers. Just about anything is surmountable, such as its off-roading prowess and agility. It can even work as a scout along all but the tightest of pathways. Not only that, it's less costly than hiring a hitman and most of its upgrades are easy to find. The high range transmission is in Mountain River of Alaska, raised suspension in Zimnogorsk, whatever. And that's also where the IMZ8330T engine lives, which is the best one. Meanwhile, the off-road suspension is in Drummond Island of Michigan. You can see the exact location of every upgrade for this truck and all trucks by using the map runner link in the description. Now this is a great tool worth bookmarking, so go to Reddit where it was posted and thank the creator. All the Tegas talk means you can usually get away with being in automatic, but there are times when the high and low gears come in handy this is actually something I will talk about in my advanced tips and tricks guide coming soon, TM. Now, unless you want to be faster than a cheetah or slap on road tires and try drifting, the high range transmission is a little bit redundant. The Tega's efficiency is another plus. It sips fuel more delicately than a cat drinks milk, which means you can make it to a trailer or fuel station quite easily. Other trucks are less thirsty, yes, if you look at the number as you drive along, but then most of them take twice as long 
to get anywhere. Then there's the fact the Tega steers faster than its closest rivals, such as the Azov 64131. Who names these things? Plus it has a decent turning circle, isn't too wide, and it looks cool. Especially in that awesome dark green. Mmm, green. So what about the negatives? While raising the suspension heightens the center of gravity and noticeably emphasizes its ability to tip over. Although that's the case for all trucks, it's nowhere near as high as Joe Exotic's X. When Joe ran that helicopter, it gave him, uh, him a lot of really bad ideas. But then with a cargo container or van add-on, it can be quite tippy and unruly. There's also the issue of at least one exhaust pumping out a mixture of white and black exhaust gases. Gotta love that attention to detail right into the camera. Now you can change the view to compensate, but then it really reduces your options and that can be annoying. You're better off selecting the stock exhaust even though it is less visually appealing. Admittedly, other trucks do get kind of close to the performance, but also have extra versatility. So why do I keep using the Tega? Well, those ridiculous mud tires are a big plus, but it's mainly because it's just more interesting than a three-way marriage, apparently. You can go for the Azov and barely worry about anything, but it's so slow. And why live life in the slow lane when you can set up a big cat zoo, do meth, accidentally burn your pet alligators, run for president, and go to prison? Actually, maybe a more sedate life isn't such a bad thing. But when it comes to SnowRunner, the Tega provides a welcome dose of excitement and variety. Much like the Netflix series I've been banging on about this whole time. Sorry about that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this video. I hope it was useful, informative, and maybe even entertaining. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. Until the next video, take care, bye. Last saw tiger, tiger saw